I keep emphasizing the role of this essence called truth and the power of it because at the if I had to explain the purpose of life and I had only one word it would be the power of the force of truth in you in your life the capacity that the search for truth has to determine everything about you to drive you to wonder and to ask the questions who am I what for what reason was I born what am I doing here what's my purpose what can I create what can I give what can I take the fear of of knowing the truth and what that drives a human being to do the shadow of it and that everything about our society everything everything about the human experience collectively and individually is about the management of how we manage this force of truth thank you Joyce how we manage this force and how in and 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 its evolution within within our and it's not society within our collective evolution as human beings and then and our capacity to experience it in our lives examine it in ourselves and then recognize the truth of what's happening in the world around us and then how we then respond to it within ourselves so it comes full circle so we recognize to separate to learn to discern what's really going on in the world around me and my participation in it how is it affecting me how is it affecting me what's really going on it's a entire journey what's really going on in my world what's really going on every single thing that happens in the world is happening to you personally but it's also connected to some larger arena in life to a larger moment in evolution to a larger theater nothing just happens we're the engines of everything that's happening in the world nothing just happens things happen because we're the engines of creation so to that extent i'm going to use two examples on the collective that are polar opposites because i want to talk to you about polarities we have to bring that in that are the collective examples of the power of truth and our issues with it and how truth has become the time bomb in us the force in us the at the personal level of our lives it's become the the force that is most volatile in us here's personal the in interior then here we look at what creates the forces we look at in the world around us they erupt out of the psychic free radicals that are generated by all of us one of the laws of the universe is that energy creates matter so that the energy that is generated by the whole of our society the first all the collective chakras of a of a society whether it's a society or a nation or the global village this creates what we experience on in the world wars don't just happen they are the result of the collective energy fields generated by human beings they are not the result 
of one or two people who don't get along at a battlefield. They are results of the collective warrior archetypes, the collective greed archetypes, the collective shadow work of thousands, millions of human beings. The, 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 the result of the collective archetypal fields of hostilities that individuals hold that generate and spark the collective psychic free radicals that are then gathered by and they produce human beings that rise to the collective that represent what they feel. This is what gave human beings a, a Hitler. This is what gave human beings a Stalin. This is what gave human beings a Martin Luther King Jr., a Gandhi. Uh, this is a Golda Meir. This is what give, this is how leaders rise out of the earth to represent and ident identify with people at the time that they rise, to give voice to what they are generating and thinking and feeling. In the collective, for example, the truth, truth has become the major currency of the time that we have the most difficulty with. It has become the force that we are trying the most to not share with humanity, to keep truth from what's really going on on the planet. No, there's not climate change. No, there is not this. No, there is not that. To keep the truth from the general public. To keep truth. This is, and if we go down the line, truth is exactly what people struggle with most in themselves as individuals. What is the greatest struggle in every human being? What you're really feeling. What you really want to do. What you're really struggling with. Who you really are. How you really feel, whether it's in an individual relationship with yourself, what you want to say to someone you're married to, how you manage the slightest truth is actually for many people the greatest struggle in their life. The truth of what happened to people as a child. Truth is the greatest struggle of every single person. Telling the truth. I know people who can't even answer the simple question of where do you want to eat tonight? I don't care. Of course you care. You just won't say it. Can't even say that. Can't even answer that question. And it's not even a big deal. They won't even say it. They won't even answer that. And now I'm not even dealing with truth. I'm dealing with a, a, an opinion. Ask someone, how do you feel? Go take a little deeper question. How did you how did you feel when that how are you feeling? Oh, I'm fine. You're not fine. You're not fine. What's the matter? Nothing. Liar. But you won't say that. How many times I've been with people and they tell me something, I'm thinking, why are you telling me? Why are you telling me? Tell the person that you're upset about. Oh, I can't do that. Can't do that. Well, then lie to them. You, they fully intend to live a lie. Well, I don't want to upset them. Then upset. Then it's, then live the upset, and pay the price. Pay the price. Because you'll pay the price. You'll pay the price in your madness. Because now what you'll do is you'll let the person know in your passive aggressive way how angry you are, how this and that. Oh, you'll get through. But you'll find some covert way. You'll punish them. You'll let them. You, 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 you'll, be, you'll be absolutely toxic about it in some way. But you'll let them know. Because you haven't got the courage to actually just say something. 
So truth is the issue of the day. Make no mistake about it. And at the same time, what is the paradox about us is we think we're conscious. We invest all this money in the search for being conscious, for being whole, for having self-esteem, when, in fact, speaking truth is the most difficult thing people have. And I've never, it is so amazing to me that nobody's ever said, I'm sick of depression. Why? Because I'm not honest. I haven't spent an honest day on earth in the last 40 years. I'm a compulsive liar. I'm a serial liar. I never tell the truth. Not about myself, not about feelings. I exaggerate, I bend the truth, I this or that. I haven't got an honest bone in my body. And I can't seem to get out of it. I just can't get out of it. I, I don't walk a straight line. <coughs> Truth. And all of that debris that sparks out of people, because they don't walk a straight line, is energetic sparks. And they go somewhere. They go somewhere. Because what that generates in human beings is a sense of a lack of self-respect.